Hi, I'm Devin. I'm the wine club manager here at Samsara. I'm Lily. I'm the director of education and hospitality at Samsara. This is Brody, our winery dog. <laughs> and today we are tasting through the wines in your club shipment. 2019 Chardonnay from Bent Rock Vineyard. Uh, love this vineyard. Love our Chardonnays here at Samsara Wine Company. Uh, this one, when we make these Chardonnays, we don't want you know, either big, oaky, buttery, or just stainless steel, bright in one note. This one, long complexity and long finish. Uh, you can see I gave us a nice, hefty pour of this one. I absolutely love all of the Chardonnays that we do at Samsara. I'm really fired up on our Chardonnay program. We've been making them since 2017, so still in their infancy, but I find that these wines get better and better every year. Um, the only thing is that we sell out of them, so <laughs> unless you're very patient, it's hard to try the the back vintages of these wines, but I feel that all of the, the textural and flavor complexity allows them to age, unlike many Chardonnays from um, you know this area. I think that the minerality and the uplifted marine sediment really shows through in the Chardonnay grape, maybe the most out of any grape in the area. You always get a nice sea spray mineral mm -hmm. element both on the sure. nose and on the palate um, we also leave these wines surly while we age them so as we stir those barrels you get a lot of textural elements coming into the wine so it has weight on the palate but then it still has that bright acid to clean mm -hmm. it up at the end of your sip oh yeah that's what i get most it's bright it's fresh it's vibrant on the palate it doesn't like sit and it's coying yeah not not heavy but very complex. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yep. So our next wine is the 2018 Pinot Noir from Rancho La Vigna Vineyard. Great, thank you. This is probably my favorite vineyard for Pinot Noir. Definitely my favorite vineyard to visit. Every time you go up to Rancho La Vigna, um, you just, Devin often says that the most be beautiful vineyards make the most beautiful wines, and I think that has to be true based on Rancho La Vina Vineyard. It's actually been in the same family for over 150 years. It was originally a Spanish land grant and they really know this property well. It has natural springs on the property, so water moving through the vineyard um, from natural springs. And I think that really helps with the fruit purity uh -huh. in this vineyard. Um, the fruit is also always very, very dense and flavorful when we bring it in. So we're able to do a large proportion of whole cluster on these wines which both brings up the tannin and texture, but also softens it, so incredibly ageable wine. Absolutely, and this one in particular, it has wonderful... Um, Ooh, ooh, the spice. Mm -hmm. Spice and structure and creaminess. This one really has wonderful mouthfeel uh, to my palate. Uh, yeah, the Rancho La Vina Vineyard, it's usually my favorite. Those of you who have maybe seen me in the uh, Los Olivos tasting room, know we have all the jars, the different soils to work with. The Rancho La Vina, that's the dark, rich, black soil. Really wonderful fruit coming from Rancho La Vina. And then a nice, cool site on the western side of Santa Rosa Road. So you still retain that really bright acidity north facing. So you get the afternoon sun, but then very, very close to the ocean. So you get those um, nighttime fogs to really arrest that acid and keep it bright. Yep. Beautifully balanced wine. And those of you who are taking our winemaker selection for the shipment, you're also getting our 2014 Rancho La Vina, so you have a wonderful chance to compare those two uh, vintages. Yeah. Mm. yeah. You love that wine. I do. That's probably my favorite in our whole catalog, but this one's young. Give this a few more years in your cellar. This might be my favorite. All right. Yeah. So this is our Pinot Noir from Rancho La Vina uh, Vineyard for the year 2014. This is might be my favorite wine in our entire catalog. I've really loved this wine for years now and with the age it's had on it, it's really drinking wonderfully right now. I get so much savory character from this wine. I think that it has aged enough that the fruit has started to recede into the background. Usually the Rancho La Vina wines are so fruit forward. Mm -hmm. um, the fruit is so dense. So the fruit has started to mellow on this and I think that it retains the really soft tannin. The tannin has softened. Mm -hmm. um, and then kind of the tertiary flavors are beginning to come into the forefront. So yeah. 
a little bit of sa that saline character so close to the ocean. So I think that that mineral character really comes through on this wine. It's almost a little sanguine and really spicy and savory. Mm, all those flavors you're talking about, they've come, they've met the fruit and they're balancing with it. It's just really drinking beautifully right now. I think it's, I think it's peaking. Yep. Ooh. Time to drink this wine. 